Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Coding Lifestyle for You. In the last video, we covered the functionality of search button. Now let's see the functionality of other buttons. So if I search a meaning of word source, for example, and hit enter, you can see we are getting a meaning. Now what we have to do when I click on this clear button, I want everything to be deleted from this text area as well as from this entry field. So let's see what we will do. We'll simply provide a command to this clear button. So here command equals to clear. This is the name of the function that I am providing. And now let's define this. So whenever you will be clicking on the clear button, this clear function will be called and whatever code will be written there that code will be executed let's define it here just after this search function def clear and what we want firstly i want if there is anything written on my entry field when i click on this clear button that should be deleted so i will use the object name of entry field dot delete method so this will help us to delete everything from the entry field. So the indexing starts from zero till end. So if you want everything to be deleted, you will have to start from zero till end. Okay, let's check. Hello. Clear button. You can see hello is getting deleted. Now, after that, I also want to delete everything from the text area so i will use the object name text area dot delete and here the indexing starts from 1.0 so from 1.0 i will delete everything so till end i will delete everything let's see hello clear so you can see this is getting deleted now let's search for a word file enter we are getting the meaning of file here okay if i click on this clear button everything is getting deleted from these two fields now let's see the functionality of this exit button so let's provide a command to this exit button so whenever i will click on the exit button this particular command will be executed so i exit is the function name that i am providing and now let's define this function I'll be defining this just after this clear function. So def I exit and what I want whenever I click on the exit button, I want a message box to appear with a message. Do you want to exit? Yes or no. Okay. So we have to import a message box. So it is already imported here. Okay. So let's use this message box module message box dot then the method name. The method name is ask yes, no okay and here we need to pass the title so title i'll pass confirm make sure you pass in the form of a string and then after that let's pass a message so message is do you want to exit question mark okay and this ask yes no method will return either true or a false value so if you'll click on this no button it will return false if you'll click on this yes button it will return true okay so i will simply store that value in a variable res okay and i will simply apply a condition here if res equals to equals to true if res is true it means you have pressed the yes button it means you want to exit so if you want to exit what i want i want my window to be closed so for that i will uh, write the name of the window root dot method name which is destroy this helps us to close our window like this and what if you select no then in that case i want nothing to happen so i'll simply go in the else part and i'll simply pass i will do nothing so let's see if I click on this exit button, we are getting a message box. The title here is confirm. The message here is do you want to exit? If you click no, nothing will happen. But if you click yes, this window will be closed. 
right this window is getting destroyed so we are done with the functionality of this clear button and this exit button now let's see the functionality of these two mic buttons okay so to start we have to download a module it's an external module which helps us to convert text to audio so whatever text will be written here this button will simply convert that text into audio and this button will convert everything which is written here into audio so let's see so what you guys need to do just go to this terminal here and just type pip install pyttsx3 and once you hit enter you will be able to download it okay i have already downloaded so it is saying requirement already satisfied other way of downloading the same module is to go into this file then select settings after that select this project talking dictionary then select this python interpreter then click on this install button here in the search bar you can search for the module which is pyttsx3 i have already downloaded so it is showing in blue color if you have not downloaded just click on this install package and your downloading will start once it's finished just close all these windows and you just have to import now so just write this line import pyttsx3 so why we are importing this pyttsx3 to access the methods which will help us to convert text into audio so this pyttsx3 is a text to speech conversion uh, module or library in python and it works offline okay so you do not need internet connection to use this pyttsx3 module okay so i'm simply going to remove this comment and after importing this we have to create object of engine class so how do we create object of engine class and that engine will help us to convert text to audio so we have to write a line here pyttsx3 module name dot init method okay so this is how you create the object or instance of engine class and the object name here is engine you can give any name it's up to you okay so let me just provide a comment here that this is uh, creating instance of engine class like this so after creating instance of engine class next thing is that we need to uh, get the voices okay so voice is a property so we need to get that voice so for that what we have to write here we have to write get property method so with the help of this object name we can access that get property method so engine dot get property method okay and here you need to pass which property okay so i want voices so i will simply write voices here and whatever voices you will get i want to store all those voices in some variable voice okay after that you want to set voice whether you want to set a female voice or a male voice for that you have to use the object name and then the method set property and which property you want to set you want to set voice okay you want to set voice and whose voice you want to set for that you have to write like this voice and here you need to pass 0 or 1 0 is a male voice and 1 is a female voice then dot id like this so this represents a male voice so we are simply setting a male voice okay after writing these three lines now let's pass a command to this mic button okay this mic button is next to the search button so what i want whenever you click on this mic button i want a function to be called and that function name i'm giving as word audio okay and now let's define this function so i will be defining this function just after this exit so def 
वर्ड ऑडियो पैरेंथेसिस कुलन सो हियर व्हाट आई वांट आई वांट वट एवर टेक्स इज रिटर्न ऑन माई एंट्री फील्ड आई वॉन्ट दैट टेक्स टू बी कन्वर्टेड टू ऑडियो सो फॉर दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट नेम इंजन डॉट से मेथड ओके एंड वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू से आई वॉन्ट वट एवर इज रिटर्न ऑन द एंट्री फील्ड दैट शुड बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू ऑडियो सो फॉर हाउ कैन वी फेच दैट वर्ड वी कैन फेच विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट नेम एंटर वर्ड एंट्री डॉट गेट this will simply get whatever is written on the entry field and then this engine will help you to say that okay so for that let's run the engine so engine dot run and wait okay this will simply help our engine to run and you will be able to hear the audio let's try run and write uh, wait any word click on this mic button wait wait i hope you are able to hear this now in the same way we will be doing it for the meaning part okay so the meaning mic button i have named audio button this is that meaning mic button i will here also i will give the command command equals to meaning audio so it's a function name you can give any name i'm giving a similar name meaning audio and now let's define this i will be defining just after this so def meaning audio okay and here also we will be doing the same thing firstly what i want my engine to say i want whatever text is written on my text area i want to get that text first of all okay so this is the way to get the text and here you need to pass from where to where you want to get the text so from 1.0 till end from start till end i want everything uh, to be fetched there and then the engine will say that and if you will not write engine dot run and wait this engine will not work so we need to run our engine then only it will say whatever is passed here okay so only this much is sufficient let's run the code and if i type any word like navigate hit enter so did you mean navigation instead if i click yes so we are getting navigation meaning here okay let's click on this mic button to hear the meaning the science or art of conducting ships or aircraft from one place to another especially the method of determining position course and distance traveled over the surface of the earth by the principles of geometry and astronomy and by reference to devices as radar beacons or instruments designed as aids the transport and movement of goods people and animals over water okay so i hope you are able to hear this so we have two meanings for this navigation word so we are done so our very first project is complete i hope you guys have understood everything if you like this video do subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you for watching